100 million years ago, scientists discovered the ideal gas law, which states PV equals NRT. Today, you are lucky enough to see these 300 million years of science in action. Basically, what we are going to do today is fill a little Erlenmeyer flask up with liquid and evaporate that liquid so that it fills the entire Erlenmeyer flask and any excess is discarded out the top. Once the flask is full of gas, we can then condense that gas and weigh how much liquid is left over. Using this equation. And once we know the mass of our gas, we can look on the periodic table For our volatile liquid, we will be using ethanol because it has a fairly low boiling point and a low level of toxicity. Here I have 10 milliliters of ethanol, colloquially known as one shot of drink. We will put about two to three milliliters into our Erlenmeyer flask. This will now be the liquid that we are evaporating. Cover your volatile liquid with a little bit of aluminum foil in order to prevent excess evaporation of your liquid. Punch a small hole into the top of the aluminum foil to allow venting. It will be very difficult to observe your volatile liquid being completely removed. Therefore, I suggest tilting your Erlenmeyer flask on its side. Once you believe your liquid has been fully evaporated, record the temperature of the water as this will be necessary to determine the mass of your gas. Be careful to not heat your liquid directly or your gases may ignite. Allow your substance to cool at room temperature and you will begin to see your volatile liquid condensing. Do you see the condensation lines? 